At the beginning of the anime, Hanamichi Sakuragi asks his barber for a radical makeover, and despite the barber's warnings, Hanamichi insists, and his hair starts to fall everywhere. Then, the opening begins to play and shows footage of the game that Shohoku, Hanamichi's school, lost to Kainan High School. Hanamichi leaves the barber shop with a new haircut and boards the train. Before seeing the intimidating Hanamichi, three young men were boasting about being the strongest and toughest in town. One of them is looking for an excuse not to challenge Hanamichi to a fight, but promises his friends to challenge the next person to board the train. Unfortunately for him, the next person to board the train is someone just as tall and intimidating as Hanamichi, so the three young men decide to drop the whole business of thinking they are the toughest guys in town. Exiting the train, Hanamichi walks down the stairs of the station as he hears someone shouting. Suddenly, a car pulls up and a girl waves to someone in the same direction as Hanamichi, which confuses him. At that moment, the tall guy on the train appears behind him and takes a super jump, smoothly passing over Hanamichi. The woman and the boy get into the car and leave Hanamichi confused, angry, and lying on the ground. Iri, the strange girl who appeared earlier, gets a surprise when Michael, the blonde boy on the train, tells her that the boy they saw at the train station is Hanamichi, one of the Shohoku school players who faced Kainan High School. Meanwhile, Hanamichi arrives at school and all his classmates freeze at the sight of his new haircut. But, when he reveals that the reason for his change is the defeat suffered against Kainan High School, they all start laughing at him. Later, as Hanamichi explains to his teammates the reason for his haircut, Michael bursts into the gym, grabs the ball and, after speeding past all the team's defenders, scores an incredible basket off the backboard. As all the players' mouths drop open, Iri appears and tells Michael to stop wasting time. At that moment, the Shohoku school principal introduces Iri, saying that she is the coach of Ryakokafu. Then, he introduces Michael Okita, the talented captain of Ryakokafu. The director explains to the students that Iri intends to play a practice match against Shohoku School, but the students quickly refuse, because they have to prepare for the national tournament and want to avoid getting injured. But, when the Ryokufu representatives were about to say goodbye, Akagi, the Shohoku captain, accepts the challenge. Michael thanks them for their attitude, as the Ryokufu team was formed in the spring and they will not be able to participate in the competitions until next year and tells them that the match between the two teams will be on the same afternoon. Before saying goodbye, Iri leaves a warning to Rukawa, which leaves the young man confused, who assures his friends that he has no idea who she is. Outside the gym, Iri explains to Michael that, when he was in America, she tried to recruit Rukawa. Then, a flashback recounts that memory and explains Iri's feeling of anger, as Rukawa completely ignored Iri the day the two met. Upon arriving at the gymnasium, the Shohoku players are shocked to learn that the entire facility was built exclusively for basketball, and that it is not a multi-sport facility like schools usually have. Plus the fact that they don't see many students at the school draws their attention even more. As they enter the playing field, they are shocked to see the huge crowd that has gathered to watch the game. Iri takes advantage of their presence and asks the fans to give them a warm welcome, which makes the Shohoku players wince. Later, as they prepare the final details for the game, Haruko appears and gives them encouragement and explains what they already know, namely that Michael is a semi-professional player with NBA experience and that Ryakokufu is no ordinary team. When the Shohoku players take the field, Mitsui warns his teammates about Katsumi, making it clear that he is a talented player. But Akagi tells them that they should respect each of their opponents and not just watch out for Michael and Katsumi. Kagir tells Akagi to rest his foot, and Hanamichi makes his usual appearance telling Akagi that he has nothing to worry about as he will beat Ryokufu with no problem. Coach Anzai innocently jokes with Hanamichi's hair, which makes the young man furious. The referee announces the match between the two teams and blows the opening whistle, while Akagi wishes his team the best. Hanamichi wins the first ball and Kagure puts together a great play with Miyagi, Mitsui, and Rukawa, who ends up converting the first point of the match, which excites Michael. Meanwhile, Hanamichi's schoolmates arrive at the huge Ryokufu grounds to watch the match. Before entering the playing field, they make fun of Hanamichi's foul against Kainan, as it costs them the defeat. One of them defends him, saying that Hanamichi took what happened seriously, and that the match with Ryokufu will be easy, as they are a team formed a few months ago. Going in, they can't believe that Ryokufu is ahead on the scoreboard, so they ask Haruko for a summary of the game. She explains to them that Ryokufu is a very good team, plus Michael is playing at an extraordinary level. 
Michael scores another basket and the boys are left open-mouthed, so they ask Haruko if Akagi's absence affected the players. She tells them that Kagure, Akagi's replacement, and Sakuragi are doing their best to stop Ryokufu's attack but Michael and Nakata keep bringing trouble to the defense. Miyagi gets irritated at Ryokufu's solid defense and decides to try a solo move to score, which makes his nerves clear. But Michael takes advantage of this and takes the ball away from him without any problems. Ryokufu then initiates a great counterattack, which is finished by the talented Katsumi, who tries to irritate Mitsui. The score gets even bigger in Ryokufu's favor, which leaves the Shohoku fans silent. Kiryu begins to tell the team's coach that Shohoku is not as strong as people think, but rather an individualistic and disorganized team that was lucky to play against Kainan. Miyagi tries to convince himself that Michael is not as good as Maki, Kainan's star player, so he concentrates on beating him things in the match start to get heated as Hanamichi and Rukawa argue with each other, which is usual, while Katsumi provokes Mitsui by telling him that he is better than him. Hanamichi manages to catch a rebound caused by Mitsui and decides not to pass the ball to Rukawa, but Michael recovers the ball and starts another counterattack. The game becomes a back and forth between both teams, which starts to make Akagi desperate, as Shohoku is not effective with the ball and fails to convert points. Because of this, Akagi yells at Hanamichi to be more effective on defense. Iri scoffs at this by telling the coach that Shohoku relies too much on Akagi, but the coach replies that the game is about to change. At that moment, Rukawa literally puts the team on his shoulder and begins to play extraordinarily, scoring several points and leaving Shohoku very close to Ryokufu on the scoreboard. This causes Shohoku's fans to get excited, so they cheer on their teammates. Iri gets angry and tells the coach to make a change in the defense, so they substitute Abina, one of the team's starting defenders. At halftime, Shohoku's team realizes that Ryokufu only invited them to hack a name in the national championship, as they want to become popular quickly by beating the school that almost defeated Kainan High School. Meanwhile, Ryokufu players try to convince Iri that they will give their best to beat Shohoku and make a place for themselves among the big teams in the league. As the second half begins, Shohoku's players come out completely transformed, putting constant pressure on Ryokufu, who begin to feel Hanamichi's suffocating pressure. For this reason, Ryokufu's fastest player is substituted, as Hanamichi's ferocity has him exhausted. Michael praises Hanamichi and his defensive capabilities, but the player who enters the court is extremely decisive for the game, as he is not only an excellent defender, but also plays perfectly with his twin brother and they manage to unbalance the match again, putting Ryokufu ahead on the scoreboard. The Shohoku players become desperate to see Ryokufu's precise movements, as they fluidly exchange attacking and defensive positions and advance without leaving openings. The Shohoku players are starting to get tired, as they have been running back and forth. Kagure is fouled and decides to shoot the free throw himself, as he remembers what he had told Akagi about winning this game to lift the rookie's spirits. Kagure misses the shot, but manages to redeem himself by grabbing a rebound and dishing an assist to Mitsui. Unfortunately, Kagur pushed himself too hard on that play and got hit badly, causing him to pass out in front of his teammates and putting the stadium on alert. After this, Kagur wakes up in the infirmary and sees Ayako by his side. He tries to return to the game immediately, but learns that Akagi entered the field despite his foot injury. Ayako reassures him, telling him that thanks to his commitment and words, his teammates are having a great game. Iri starts to get irritated that Shohoku is again getting closer on the scoreboard, so he starts to get angry with Akagi, but the Ryokokofu coach tells her that the team started to pull itself together thanks to Kagure's commitment, not Akagi's entrance. Kagure arrives on the field again and Shohoku calls timeout. Akagi tells Kagure that he will be able to play the remainder of the match before his injury starts to hurt. Hanamichi thanks Kagure for his delivery and Anzai tells Rukawa to get ready to put pressure on the opponent. Meanwhile, Iri argues with her team, as she wants to bypass the coach's authority and make changes that will bring them closer to victory, so they tell her that they don't intend to win, but to have fun against a worthy opponent like Shohoku. The players take the field again and Ryokokufu's coach makes Iri understand that the players are in a practice match and are not focused on winning, but on improving, so it is better for everyone to play and grow athletically. With a few seconds left in the match, Hanamichi manages to capture a rebound and assists Akagi, who manages to score the point that puts Shohoku one point ahead of Ryokufu on the scoreboard. In the end, Hanamichi starts a counterattack and is left alone in front of the backboard, 
but misses his shot. Fortunately, he takes the rebound and manages to elude Michael to score an incredible dunk. Only the game ended an instant before the ball went through the hoop, so his point was invalidated. Michael congratulates Hanamichi for the win and for the great play he made at the end. The coaches from both schools greet each other and the players cheerfully say goodbye after playing such a close game. At the end, Michael tells his teammates that he will return to America to play in the NBA, so he encourages his team to make it through the national tournament. The end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new anime recaps.